up everybody this is bb davis and you're back with me on my second official youtube channel cigar say sister live it is a wonderful wonderful day and i hope that you all are having a wonderful wonderful day all right so i'm out and about had to do some beauty runs and these are essentials because filming not just here but i do some other film work and stuff like that and also on the personal the girl needs her pearls and that's a beauty stuff so it is what it is but look while I'm in these streets, I have the Kajimor. And this is the truffles. If you look at the channels, I went shopping and I love the tins. That's what I'm trying to do, is to up my tin game. Okay? This has to come off. This is like my little bandana for, you know, whatever it is. I just kind of keep it like that. But I'm rocking my red today, as always. I've just been in the mood to do my red and all that good stuff, so. But look, take a look at my hands. I was testing the testers, and I love red. Red is my signature color, but then also I wanted to get some brown hues in there as well as red, so. I kind of took it back old school, and I'm in love with the lip pencils now, along with the lipstick, so. Found this cute spot that old school lip pencils. Like nobody's checking for the lip pencils anymore. At least not there because I'm getting them for like a dollar, 50 cents, and they're just beautiful. So I did some swatches on my hands. So I have coffee on deck and the Kojimara truffles. And so I wanna up my 10 game in my cigar collection because the cigar collection as far as the big sticks they're already lit so I decided to start putting in work and giving love to the B&M's online and offline and purchasing the tins and the small full bodied cigars and then the cigarellos and then the tins and I still love the artwork on this. Well, anyway, it's 10 count. They usually go for like $10. Okay, let me get a thumbnail right here, okay? And they're beautiful. They have like a beautiful sheen to them. Nicely tight, rolled, but <sighs> The draw isn't. See how that's tight. So this is my first time enjoying the truffle chocolates. I usually have my cigarette holders, but I'm cleaning them. So right now they're soaking in Jack Daniels. And then I'm going to clean them with the pipe cleaner. I got the steel pipe cleaner and then the regular pipe cleaners. So anyway, I'm going to light this up. This is the truffle. Mmm. Don't burn your hand, baby. I just put in a new um, butane in my lighter, so I need to slow down before I burn my hands. Oh, fingers. So I cleaned all my cigarette holders. So that's why I don't have it. So I'm going straight old school. That's nice. The chocolate truffles. And so with that, I'm gonna put this down. And know what I'm gonna do, you know what I'm gonna do? What I love Zyko. That little part you can close out the flame. So now if you accidentally hit it, it won't come out. That's why I love them so much. Okay, this is beautiful. Sometimes you feel like a dragon. 
sometimes you don't. <laughs> and then I got coffee on deck. This is the raspberry mocha that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Got really great snacks at the Dollar Tree, so it's lovely. It helps me keep more of my Starbucks. But I love this raspberry, and it's a nice pear. Okay. See that? Here I go. I'm going in again. Dragons, mother dragons. <laughs> oh, okay, and also, it, and it gives a good fiesta time in the mouth. It's so good. So I'm going to put that down. Slow burning. Beautiful. 15 minutes. Depends on how much you're pulling. And then I have the Tabak inset from him. Very good. So I lit that up, and the truck smells wonderful got out came back in and it was just like oh, beautiful in here mm -hmm. then I have this I brought this along I usually don't bring this but I wanted some of the French Riviera and this is how I store the snuffs I store them just like that so they got a wide variety. Got this from the Dollar Tree. So that's a good thing. Alright, so I'm going to pop the top. And then you put that in your humidor. Your thermoelectric humidor if you have it. So once I put this container back in. It, you keep the snuffs nicely humidified. Now, this I got from Mr. Snuff. The French Riviera. It shows a picture of the French Riviera. And the thing about this one is special to my heart. My grandfather served in World War II, okay? And he was stationed in Nice's France. So this is that whole spectrum over there. And then they sent it with this tape to make sure that nothing spilled out. So I just kind of keep it on there. I thought that was really cool of Mr. Snuff. Mr. Snuff also has a brand new overhaul of the website if you haven't been over there or if you've been over there you see they've made some really grand changes in the website so this top is easy to the up this is my personal use and you can fluff this out it's just like wine take it off let it breathe this has been breathing for a minute because I had some of this before I rolled out and it's divine it smells like the sea if you're a beach head like I am. I'm a beach babe. Been to the beach. You've been overseas. Anywhere near water, but especially like overseas, like Greece, or Jamaica, Bahamas, St. Thomas, St. Croix, Seychelles, um, or even here in the States. Oh, so this is my personal use. I'm going to run barefoot in the Snuff, that's what they call it when you go in with your hands and again. I have several of these, so this is my personal use. So I'm just going to take some off the top and go barefoot. And this is actually um, a classic way where they say you can take a pinch. And that's the pinch. Rub it together because what you want to do is warm the snuff. This is like the classic ways to do it. And then a pinch and it is wonderful etiquette have a handkerchief near because you don't want to and it's beautiful and when I say it smells like the sea a very fresh so 
salty sea vibe, like sea salty vibe, you know, when you're at the beach and stuff like that. And then it comes in with a nice fragrance there, like a beautiful floral, but not too perfumey. And then that tobacco finish, it has a nice little burn in there. And a nice buttery type vibe, which makes it so intensely beautiful. And that color is just gorgeous. And even with my fingerprints in here, as soon as I close up this top, it's just like abracadabra. Take another pinch, warm it up between your forefinger and thumb. Pinch, clean up, voila, that's good. So yeah, it smells just like the sea and it's so beautiful. It has a nice eye opening factor, has a beautiful nicotine hit. You put the top back on. <laughs> and then I'm also gonna put this back on too because I would hate to pick it up and then the contents fall out and then you just have to faint. Then you gotta jump back on this stuff and order some more if it's there. And I'm gonna do a review of this snuff. It is absolutely beautiful. So then I just put it back in. I'm gonna tell you what else is nice in here. The Santo Domingo is really, really good too. It is definitely like sniffing a cigar as well as the Havana Toast. Both of those are excellent pairings for the cigar, period. So, I feel really, really nice right about now. Let's see, do I have to touch this up again? Mm. No, I do not. So I'm about to roll. I'm listening to The Joint on Sirius XM, the uh, reggae channel. Beautiful. I'm gonna clean off my hands with all those lipstick swatches as much as I can so it doesn't get on anything else. Clean it off as good as I can. And um this chocolate truffle is beautiful. It's a beautiful chocolate in there. This is definitely for a Cigarello. Full bodied, full flavored, full strength. So Kajamar did really, really good. So if you see these in your B&Ms, I would go for it. They got different arrays of bouquets to choose from. And it's a winner when you want your smoke but you don't have time to smoke a big stick this is divine I've been enjoying also doing the big one pot meals like I did spaghetti and that last if you make a whole bunch you can freeze some put in your freezer so what I did I made a big pot of spaghetti made the sauce separately then I put them in together usually I keep the sauce separate and the pasta separate and then you put it how you want to but when I'm doing the big pot meals in these economic times I mix them together and then I put two big containers in the freezer and I keep one out and I'm eating off that for almost a month and then even though that can get boring when you switch the vegetables and another side, it still makes it more interesting. So, I'm enjoying this very much. All right, so I'm gonna back out of here and get rolling. So
I'm going to do is shepherd's pie. But this one's going to be really full of calories. So that means drinking copious amounts of water. So those pounds won't jump on me. And then just have different vegetables. I've been doing like squash and zucchini mixed. And then I've also been doing carrots and um, nice red radishes. And that's been wonderful too because the radishes have that nice peppery bite to them. So I've been loving that. Lighting this up one time and putting it down is still lit. I love that. No touch ups. So I hope everyone has been doing well. All of us keep our head above water and being positive and all that good stuff. It's overcast where I am, so hopefully we can expect some rain. Um, even on sunny days where there's no rain forecast, I've been putting on my little weather apps and I've been listening to like the sea and roaring beach waves and stuff like that. So until they can lift those orders, some beaches have not opened to people and some beaches have. So right now I'm not doing any thoughts of going to the beach and I'm a beach babe, but you know, not right now. I choose to keep myself more in quarantine than anything else. So yeah, this could be like a 20 minute smoke, 30 minute smoke. And it's just beautiful. The French Riviera is really, really good. The hang time for me has been about 30 minutes smelling the bouquet in your nose and then you probably have to retouch up. Other snuffs are different. Some are so exotic that they last all day into the next day. And a lot of those are the Delacias. But this one is by Four Photo, the French Riviera, and it's just really, really beautiful. They pack those tins so good that you have to be a super heavy user to get rid of that tin. So that should last me, that one tin right there should last me the entire year. And um, I bought online some travel snuff bottles to decant and put in those and take that to go so I don't have to be running around with the big, you know, can. <laughs> You know, so it's just easy to transport. And make sure you visit the first official YouTube channel. There I will be loading my big sticks, cutting and lighting, and um, doing a nice story time with that. So look for that. I love the joint channel. It's just so cool. There are so many concerts right now that are canceled, you know, because of the quarantine and the COVID. So, it's going to be a lot of concerts for the summer, unless it changes right now, everything is just on hold, so. And shout out to Paradise Entertainment, they always let me come through and cover the events, they have some really great events, great reggae artists that come and perform. The crowd is great. The security is on point. And so I want to give a shout out to Paradise Entertainment and El Bato because they do show me media love and let me come in and do my thing. And they're based out of Charlotte, of course, the Queen City. So 
I love going to the concerts. Ah. So this cigarette alone has the whole cabin of the truck smelling beautiful. So it's like a win-win. You're smoking, it has a beautiful bouquet note on it, fills the cabin. It's beautiful. It's not harsh. And I do taste that chocolate. Like a beautiful, beautiful chocolate. Pair it up with coffee. You can pair it up with a nice chocolate shake. Ugh. And just get your beautiful dessert on with the smoke, with a nice coffee. Just lovely. these eight open up these eight horses <laughs> just really enjoying myself so I thought I'd take you all along for a little ride here been nice and steamy last week was like 80 and 90 degrees I was just like Ooh. lovely in front of you and then they slow down I have no weird Jump in front of me and you're not rolling anywhere. I don't know what that is. <laughs> and then they jump back over another lane. Ta da! That's real weird. It gives slight tongue. Like the tongue burn, kind of like what you would get from the pipe tobacco of your pipe tobacco person. I'm getting ready to move on past them because uh, obviously jumping is just real stupid. Especially if you're not going to roll out. You know, I don't want to keep playing switch lanes. <laughs> Which reminds me of a game that we played in college. I think I said this before. Freshman in college, we had just got college. And uh, we decided to take two cars, headed to this nice party at this Oasis Temple in Charlotte. And um, the game was everybody who's in one car and the other car, when you get to a light, red light, switch out. And this police officer at the time kept following us. We didn't know it. Just young, green, and stupid. And then probably after the fourth light, he put the lights on. I was like, what are y'all doing? And we were like, we're playing the game. Of, uh, catch the light or beat the light beat the light he's like uh y'all better stay in one vehicle and get to where you're going and that was pretty cool so you know you got really good cops out there and you know you have the other cops out there who are not so good so it's just you know you don't want to put all law enforcement people down uh, because we have really good cops out there and in my family we have really good police officers and people that I know so you just got to weed out the bag. Alright. This is about as far as I can nub this down. I'm about to switch lanes. And head to where I need to head. Finish up my little bit of coffee. That is done and done. Done and done.
So you all take care. Enjoy your weekend. And look for new content on the Francis Fish YouTube channel. Peace and love, everybody.